Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater and our playthrough of Clock Tower. Now, um, I uh, if you've seen the first episode of Clock Tower, you'll see where I, I stopped at a certain point. Uh, not too far in. Uh, far enough that you got the opening story, but that was it. Um, there was a fatal error when I started recording some more, so um, I'm going to do the quick start option of this. And uh, we're just going to pick up after the storyline takes place, so you have to forgive me. Uh, shout out to my friend Bree for uh, suggesting this game, and also this is one of the creepiest games I think I've ever played. And uh, in the interest of full disclosure, I have done some research on this game, and there are like eight or nine different endings. And for the moment, we're just going to try to see if we can get through the most basic ending, which is you get to the garage, and you, uh, you get in the car, and you go. I've also figured out, um, because I don't have a game book with this, I looked up the controls, and it looks like there's a control for running. So we're going to use that now. Um, in my last playthrough, I had gone in that room, there where the music started, and uh, it was really, really creepy. Um, but we're going to... What's happening here? Oh, no. Oh, that looks horrible. Oh, great. Great. Okay, so now there's also supposed to be a panic button where if you're in danger from this guy who has... Oh! I died. Are you serious? Okay, that didn't work. Um, okay, we're just going to evade him. His name is, is Bob, apparently, and I don't know his story. Okay, let's let's try this again. I'm trying to do the quick ending here. Like, this is supposed to be just a few minutes. We'll see what happens. Um, the long ending is very drawn out, and you have to do things in a very, very specific order. And quite frankly, I don't think there's any way you can do this without a walkthrough. So if I continue playing more after I finish this um, and try this, I will be using a walkthrough for any more. Okay, so let's try this again. Running, 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 running. Okay. We're going to get out, get away from there. We go in here. I think, yeah, he's going to drop through the roof again. All right, now I think we're supposed, what we're supposed to do is get out of this room before he kills us with his giant scissors. Because apparently he's killing the other girls. This is creepy. And to top it off, there's still like not a lot of music going on. Just like really creepy stuff. Okay, so I guess if we get out of here... We get away, and then we go back. I think he's supposed to be gone. I think. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to make a run for it. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. We're not going to go up the stairs. We're just going to shoot straight for the garage. And supposedly, there's supposed to be a car in the garage, but sometimes that car isn't even there. Um, so I have no idea. I mean, we're... Okay, garage. Um... Hang on a sec. We're gonna... Let's go up the ladder here. Let's get our bearings. Because I think... Uh... Yep, there he is. He can come in at any point. Alright, I'm supposed to get up here and avoid him. And just, like, stay out of sight. But I guess... I guess he can still, like, come find me or whatever. So we're just gonna sit here for a moment. See what happens. Apparently, take a rest. I can't look around the room anymore. I guess since the music stops, I guess he's gone. This game is the stuff of nightmares, people. Like, this game wasn't even released outside of Japan, it's my understanding. Uh, let's see what happens here. Let's try going down, down the ladder. I don't know, he may still be there. We could die and end up dying again. But I think this is the car I'm supposed to make my escape from. All right, stop moving. Stop moving. Okay, I don't see him. Okay, I think the keys are supposed to be right, right here. Okay, and the instructions that I read said to uh, use the car key on the car uh, three times. So we're going to get the car key. 
we're going to use it on the car. Now, the thing about Bob is he could randomly show up in any room at any time. So there's like, it's not even like a, every time you do something, he's going to show up. It's There's a few rooms like that, but she has apparently some issues about leaving the other girls. We know one of them's already dead. Okay, we're going to try using the key again. Okay, so that was, I guess that's number two. What should I do? What should I do? You should get out of here. Run. Get away. They're apparently all going to die. Woohoo! Okay, now there's supposed to be... That's it. That's it. That's it. That's actually one of the endings. And that's the fast ending. That's the fastest ending you can do. And there's a whole bunch of endings. Um... But I'm supposed to sit here through the credits, and um, there's supposed to be something after the credits. I don't know what. It just said stay, stick around for the credits. This game, it takes a lot to unnerve me, personally. It takes a lot to make me uncomfortable. It takes a lot to really put me on edge. And something about this music and something about the feel of this game really puts me on edge. And it's actually taken a lot out of me to uh, want to play this again, because it is so creepy. Um... And here's why. Here's why this is creepy. And why it's one of the creepiest things I've ever played. When you're dealing with games with low graphic quality like this, your brain starts filling in the details. Your imagination. And it uses sound very well. When when nothing's going on and she's walking, you just hear the, the clicking sound of her heels on the floor. And then when something happens, the music, it's that high, it's its in a minor key almost, and it's this higher toned, has this great feel to it, but it's very, very unnerving. And I'm sitting here alone in my house playing this game. I've never played this game before, uh, outside of what I'm what I'm doing for you guys. And uh, it's, it's creepy. It's really creepy, and I, I'm... I don't know, depending on what's after the credits. <laughs> um... I may try this this longer walkthrough, um, but it's it's pretty extensive, and you end up going to pretty much every room. But you have to do it in a very specific order, and you have to get very specific items, and you have to do things in a certain way in a certain amount of time. I don't think there's any way you can beat this game without having a walkthrough, um, because I certainly I mean I, I I had lost some episodes trying to record this, and it's genuinely uncomfortable uh, when you're playing through this because you don't know and Bob isn't the only enemy in this mansion from what I'm reading you have a lot going on and I'll be I'll be honest with you guys I've kind of looked through the different endings and I think there's only one of all of the endings where one or two where you survive and I guess I guess this is one of them where you, you survive to actually escape the mansion so, I don't know. These credits are really long. I don't know. Maybe. Is this the end of the credits? Directed by Hifumi Kono. I probably said that wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, no. I think I know where this is going. Seriously? You don't even survive. Oh, that scream. That 16-bit audio scream just makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not a wuss, but this game is unnerving. And you know, that puts us almost right at 10 minutes, folks. Um, I'm going to end this recording here, and I'm going to strongly debate on if I'm going to play anymore. Um, but I guess if you go to uh ending list here, it'll show you the endings you've cleared. So yeah, that's... Uh, there's eight endings to this game. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, this is Clock Tower. Um, as I get the courage to venture forth, we shall look at the other endings for this game. Uh, in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe if you like what I'm doing. I, I appreciate the support I've received from people, and please share it with your friends if you like this. Um, and if there's anything in particular that you want me to see me do, or uh, see us do, because I'm not the only gamer on this channel um you know drop us a line leave us a comment let us know what you think um honest feedback is great so thanks guys appreciate you love you um thanks